But the new statement of faith in the context of our history, it, it really is an exciting and an appropriate landmark. We're approaching our 40th anniversary as a family of churches. And from the beginning, by the grace of God, our churches have defined themselves theologically. And that's part of our heritage. There's a number of things that characterize Sovereign Grace churches, but underlying all of them is our theology, our doctrinal commitments. Uh, these commitments have defined us, they have united us, they, they have protected us. The best historical confessions are not only theologically precise, they are doxologically rich. So in our new statement of faith, we did not want merely to define doctrine, we were hoping by the grace of God to elicit worship, which is the intended effect of sound doctrine to begin with. If the statement doesn't lead us to worship, then it falls short of the very purpose of doctrine. So our goal, our prayer, is that this statement will kindle our affections and propel our worship to the glory of God. There are many things I love about the statement of faith. I first love that it's not innovative or unique. That would actually be troubling. I love that it gives faithful expression to historic Christian teaching. I love its big God theology, the vision of Reformed theology with a, a sovereign God and His sovereign and wise and powerful purposes at the center of everything. I love how the gospel is articulated as foundational to Sovereign Grace's doctrinal positions. Uh, the gospel is our primary passion and the driving influence in our church's common life and worship and mission. And the gospel functions that way for us because that's how it functions in the Bible. I love the language that we sought to express these things in. We wanted language that honored historical theological tradition. We wanted language that was accessible. Uh, we wanted to be clear and modern in articulation. In other words, we didn't want to say something in a way it's never been said before. I hope this statement accomplishes these things so that it will truly function to celebrate the truths we confess, to instruct our churches in biblical truths, and to kindle in our hearts and in our churches worship.